Hello, my most amazing artist. It's been a while since we've talked and I've seen each other. So my KB friends, we're going to pivot on our Christmas project and start something a little different because our KA friends didn't have a chance to start the elf leggings before we left. And I'm not sure all the stuff they have at home. So my kindergarten friends, whether you're in KB or KA, for today's project, you need a pencil, you need a piece of paper. My KB friends, you can take one of those white pieces of paper I sent home with you. KA, you could just grab a piece of paper from the printer, white construction paper, or if you have nothing but lined notebook paper, we can make that work too. So a pencil with an eraser and paper, and then you'll want something to color with. And I'm gonna let you later color this however we want, but we'll talk about that at the end of the video. So our Christmas project, we are gonna do Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I watched that with my kids yesterday and I forgot how much I just love a good reindeer. So I thought that'd be fun for us to draw using simple shapes. We've talked a lot about lines, we talked about primary colors, and now we're gonna take a line and connect it to make shapes. So if you can make an oval or a circle, you're set, okay? So we're gonna start by drawing a pretty big oval in the middle of our paper. So you can find the middle and then kind of draw around it. We will kind of want this to be Rudolph's face. So we want nice and big. A trick we haven't really talked about too much in class is if sometimes you can draw with your eraser crumbs first and then know where to go with your pencil. So you can do different things. So I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna draw an oval. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I can always erase things I don't like. So I'm just drawing a nice big oval. See, it takes up most of my stuff. Then we're gonna draw two skinny vertical straight lines. So I'm gonna take my pencil and draw one vertical straight line. And I'm gonna draw a second vertical straight line. And I think it's silly when we have like more of a cartoon reindeer. So he's gonna have a really skinny long neck. I probably should have drawn my picture a little bigger, but we'll make it work, I promise. So we have that. Now we're gonna take at the top of our head, we're gonna start like for our antlers. Sorry, I keep bumping my thing. And we're gonna draw kind of diagonal lines curving off to the side. So we don't want them super straight. We want them kind of curved. They almost look like a little antenna coming out of his head. So curved lines kind of going out at a diagonal. So let's review. Large circle, two straight vertical lines, and two kind of curved diagonal lines. All right. Now we need to add some stuff to his face. So his eyes, we want him to have really big eyes. So we're going to do two big ovals. Remember, ovals, just like a circle really stretched out. So I'm going to do two big ovals, and I'm going to have his eyes kind of close together. And they don't have to be perfect or that close to, to being the same size. That's okay. Mrs. Coles are really off. So I'm going to fix mine a little bit. And it's okay, too, if your eyes touch a little bit like these. That's almost cuter. So we're going to take that same shape, that oval or that really stretched out circle shape, and we're going to flip it and make a nose. So down here towards the bottom, we're going to make a really big nose because Rudolph has a really shiny nose and we want to really draw focus to that. Okay, so we're doing lots of ovals. The next thing we want to do <clears throat> is add some circles inside our oval for his eyes. And this is where you can make your reindeer have personality. You can put your eyes down at the bottom like Mrs. Cole did. You can put one up, one down, like he's cross-eyed or being silly. You can have both up, like he's looking up at the sky. It's really up to you. Okay, so next we need to build out our antlers. And we're gonna do that by adding a few more lines. So we're just gonna add a couple curved lines going up at the top of each. I'm gonna make the ones at the bottom a little bit bigger than the one at the top. So I just added a couple curved lines and I'm gonna add at least one more on the other side in the middle. And you can decide if you want your Rudolph to have more curved lines or less, but I think as long as you have at least three, two on one, you're good. And if you wanna make them a little bit longer, you can. This is where you can kind of add some artistic decision. Now, this next part is the trickiest part. We're gonna add some little ears. 
And the ears we're gonna do by making kind of a wavy line at the top. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna curve up and out a little bit. And then we're just gonna make a smile to bring it back in. So bring a smile to get just a little bit of ears. And if you want to add another line inside of this to make it look like the inside of his ears, you can, or you can leave it. I actually like it without it. I'm gonna keep it really simple. But again, those are the decisions you can make as an artist. Another decision you can add is maybe you want your reindeer to be a girl. You can add some eyelashes. Even if it's a boy, reindeer can have eyelashes. You can add a bow on one of its horns or antlers, but that's your choice. We're gonna come back down and now we're gonna add like a scarf because it's cold in the North Pole and I'm sure Rudolph would wanna wear a scarf. So we're gonna draw a scarf. And since I made my neck really long, I have a lot of room for a scarf. So I'm just gonna start by making a curved horizontal line that kind of crosses over. And I'm gonna do another one towards the bottom, another curved line. So I'm making a curved horizontal line on each side. Then I'm just gonna connect the two with another kind of curved line. And we're doing curved lines over straight so we can give the illusion that's going around his neck. If you want to leave the lines in, you can and make it a striped scarf. So I'm gonna add another line inside so it looks like a striped scarf. If you want it to be a solid colored scarf, you can just erase those necklines, but I like a stripey scarf. So to make it look more like a scarf, we have to draw two more lines. We want to draw a horizontal line and take it almost off to the end of your paper and then draw a diagonal straight line almost to the end of your paper. Then we're gonna draw another horizontal line underneath this one to match. And then we're just gonna actually draw a kind of wavy line coming down here to look like the scarf is kind of blowing in the breeze. I might have made mine a little tall, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna do another wavy kind of line at the bottom. So if you don't like how thick this line is, you can always erase it, but I'm fine. We're gonna do one more thing. Scarves like to have fringe, and those are just straight, short lines. And you can add some fringe for your scarf. And your scarf can have lots and lots of fringe, or no fringe, or maybe you don't like the fringe at all. You don't have to do that either. Okay, so I did some stripes on this part of my scarf. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some stripes on my scarf. And when you repeat the same thing over and over again, that is called a pattern. And patterns are awesome in art. So I chose to put a pattern on my scarf. You can leave your scarf just plain. That's your choice. So this is Rudolph. And what I want you to do next is take your Sharpie out of, well, you know what? You don't have to, this is a choice. If you would like to outline this in Sharpie, you can outline it in Sharpie, or you can just take your black Sharpie and use it to color in your eyes. If you don't wanna outline, you don't have to, but you do need to add color. When you're coloring your reindeer, you can use crayons, you can use markers, and if you have colored pencils at home, you can use colored pencils too. If you choose to outline in your Sharpie, make sure you have something underneath your paper so it doesn't hurt your table. We don't want the people we live with to get upset that we up stain the table. So I'm just gonna quickly outline mine. I like a good outline on my reindeer, and that way I can fix things I don't like. And if you don't outline perfectly, you can always erase that pencil that shows. I might leave my antlers for not being outlined because I kind of like those to be a different color. So I'm just gonna quickly outline. So when you're coloring, remember we wanna talk about good craftsmanship, trying our best, doing our best coloring, going slow and taking our time. You have a whole week to work on this. So you might want to draw your Rudolph and then take a break and come back and color it at little bits and pieces later on so you don't do a lot of coloring at once because we don't want messy coloring. We want to take our good time and good coloring takes time and patience. So I'm not going to make you watch me color my Rudolph. Again, Rudolph has what makes Rudolph so special. 
his red nose that, um, I can't, I'm almost singing the song. I won't sing the song for you because I'm not your music teacher. Um, his nose glows so bright and he helps guide that sleigh. So don't forget when you're coloring your Rudolph to make a red nose. If you don't want to do Rudolph and you just want to do a regular reindeer, you can color that nose whatever color you want. So I like the way it looks outlined. I'm going to leave my antlers plain because I think I'm going to color those in a brown marker and I want them to really show up. So have fun with your reindeer. Draw it, outline if you want to. Don't forget to put something underneath your table. And then I want you to work on coloring it with your best coloring. If you're using crayons, slow down, no scribbling. If you're gonna use markers, remember we talked about using the side of our marker to do nice, thick, even lines. So really practice coloring neatly. And I cannot wait to see what your Rudolphs look like. I'm going to finish working on mine and took a picture later and I'll show you in our live class. So have a great time and I will see you in our live class. So goodbye, my most amazing artists.